visible for you yet. You cannot see it. No, we can see it, but uh, not in detail, unfortunately. All right. I will uh, uh, can actually do a close up for you. Can you see it now? Yes, we can see it that the uh, that it is sticking out. And again, on this bracket, the lines are aligned, and on that uh, are not. Yes, I can see that the bracket is uh, the culprit. Actually, the mounting plate is culprit. So maybe it should be on to the left, more to the left. I have got it all. Uh, let's uh, complete this activity with the handrail. And translate to the elbow joint uh, to start the removal of the cover uh, from the joint. All right, it works. Let me close uh, it with the MLI first. Oleg, but in your opinion, it is installed tightly, right? The handrail. Yes, uh, it is very tight. I did a pull test and I knocked on it and it looks like it is stable. I guess I should deactivate the camera, right? So that uh, I can save some battery juice. Yes, Alex, that's right, and please translate to the elbow joint uh, location. Okay, the camera. So okay, Denise, what about the cover? Uh, are there any issues? Okay, there are ties there that need uh, to be cut. Okay, Dennis. And could you please secure uh, the cover to the big uh, red hook? I will do that, but it is actually quite tight here. All right, and uh, unintelligible. Yeah, when you uh, put back the cutter, yes, I am uh, putting back the cutter. This is Mission Control Houston, two hours, 41 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. Just to recap, uh, the... The cover. First spacewalk of Expedition 67, the fourth of the year out of the International Space Station. The fourth for Oleg Artemiev and the first for Denis Matveyev got underway at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Cover. The two cosmonauts working uh, very efficiently outside of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, installed and successfully checked out the European Robotic Arm Control Panel box. It's uh, up and running in good shape for future commanding of the uh, robotic arm in the tasks uh, that we'll undertake in the months and years ahead uh, to move people and payloads around the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The uh, first of two of three handrails today have been installed on the arm itself, the second in the process of being installed by Artemiev and Matveyev. Medvedev also in the process of removing protective uh, thermal covers from uh, launch uh, base points and payload interfaces. Soon we'll be removing a thermal cover from the elbow of the robotic arm itself. The next spacewalk these two will uh, conduct is just 10 days away on April 28th when they will also uh, release launch uh, locks and other constraints uh, that held the arm securely in place during its launch. Uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan last July, affixed to the Naoka module so that it can take its first tentative steps away from its uh, grapple points. There are two limbs to this arm, once unfurled, uh, can reach uh, 37 feet in distance with a pair of uh, end effectors, just like the Canadarm2 robotic arm that services the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. Do you have a tie there? Yes, I do. And there is a handrail on the era arm that you can use. Okay, first I will try to untie uh, this ribbon. 
I have not to waste your time. Cut it. Oh. Unintelligible. But I will first try to untie it. Yes, actually, I succeeded. I untied it. Okay, you know, the the uh, guy who tied it uh, was a very um, conscientious guy and industrious. All right, so please, again, be careful with the reflectors. Now I can see the first wire tie here. Okay. Fold uh, the MLI cover in such a way so that uh, it will be convenient for you to put it back later on. Well, uh, so maybe we should bag it. All right, so, you know, uh, do it in such a way that it is convenient for you to tie and untie it. Right, I will have to rehook my tether here. Stand by one. And what handrail should I use? Uh, is it a 4351 handrail? Uh, okay, it's 36. All right. Okay, so uh, have you completed your MLI activity? Uh, I'm asking Alec. I'm asking Dennis. Uh, so, Alec, so what about the cover? The cover is secure. This is Dennis. Uh, I'm not uh, done yet. We are doing it uh, simultaneously with Alec. Alec, there is some kind of a thread uh, there, so please make sure that it is not um, just moving about there. All right, uh, we will do that right now, don't worry. Here you go. Everything is ready. All right, I will rehook my tether towards the handrail where I will be working. Right, so we are rotating it here and turning it and rotating it, folding it up. So, what is the best way to fold it? Another tie uh, here that I discovered. And a good view from a camcorder that's mounted in a window in the Zvezda service module. Uh, at the bottom of your screen, Denise Matveyev, Oleg Artemiev at the top of your screen as they continue to remove thermal covers from uh, the European robotic arm and its two limbs. They're installing a, a trio of handrails on the arm after the uh, completion of the work uh, to install a control panel for the operation of the arm, that went uh, by the book Absolutely. as we are closing in on the three hour mark in today's spacewalk. You know, uh, for Denise, maybe it is uh, uh, dangerous. For me, it is not. It is in the sheet now. Now, I look unintelligible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, you know he has some kind of uh, MLA cover beneath there as well. So below there we have another cover. No, actually you should not remove anything below. Only, uh, you know, the one that you have already folded. But I just uh, want to tell you that uh, there is another cover below. Yes, this actually is um, a suit uh, to the hull. Well, it is tied. Alex, do not cut anything else. Yes, uh, that's important. I know. And I, I don't know anything without... I don't do anything without your command, Moscow. All right. Let me move away from these reflectors here. Denise, have you completed your side of the cover? Folding? Yes, I have. Now, could you please take... A, a camera and uh, take picture of the sun reflectors in the area of the elbow joint. And I'm moving away uh, from those reflectors. This is if you want. Alright, I am activating the pump. Of course, now I'm uh, on the hot side, kind of. And Alec, I'm, uh, I'm giving you advice to use a few wire ties uh, to tie that up. Exactly, uh, I'm doing this right now. Uh, you know, after you have secured the cover, could you please uh, translate to address number four and uh, uh, see, uh, look at the brackets and uh, try to do a pull test, maybe, you know, during the installation, uh, it's uh, got heated and uh, please check whether it is still installed tightly. Uh, of course, after you are complete uh, with the cover removal and folding up. Well, I can do it uh, you know, both at the same time. All right, it's up to you, Alex.
A good view of the uh, two limbs of the European robotic arm, flanked uh, by Denise Matveyev on the bottom of your screen and Oleg Artemiev at the top as they continue to remove uh, thermal covers and uh, install handrails on the arm itself to facilitate its uh, future use by spacewalkers uh, in the conduct of payload and people moving activities. And uh, an excellent view of the arm itself. At the very top of the arm is the elbow. Uh, that thermal cover will also be removed. On the next spacewalk on April 28th, Artemiev and Matveyev will be releasing a number of launch constraints and restraints, launch locks if you will, that have held the arm securely in place since it launched uh, on the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module uh, last July. Two of the three handrails scheduled for installation today uh, have in fact been installed. One more to go. Alec, you know, the keys just look uh, tight as it is. Alec, don't fold. Uh, they keep We're just a few minutes shy of the three-hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk. A great view of the Earth below, 261 miles below, as the International Space Station approaches uh, British Columbia and uh, the West Coast, just north of Vancouver. Denise, can you please tell me whether I can reach handrail number one uh, from where he is right now? Unintelligible. Let me see. be able to reach uh, 200 number one from where he is? Yes, he will. And Alec, we have a suggestion. We will ask Denise to take some pictures and uh, you will install on your side, uh, you will install handrail number one. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Okay, so what should I install? That handrail, yes. And now, as for the handrail number four, could you please knock uh, with a, a wretched wrench on the plate, on the mountain plate? Right? All right, I will do that. And what about the timeline where we are? Uh, we, you are moving exactly per the timeline on time. The report uh, from the Russian flight control team informing the two cosmonauts, they're right on the timeline. They uh, began uh, the spacewalk a few minutes behind schedule, but uh, have made up time and uh, are working quite efficiently outside of the Russian segment of the International Space Station approaching the three hour mark in today's spacewalk. And I will give you instructions. You will have to translate 
towards handrail 4306 towards the MLM cone uh, in the direction of Peho. I can see uh, the handrail 4309 and uh, this is Oleg. So, uh, do you think one YSI will be sufficient? Denis, so please translate towards PHO, uh, towards MLM code. All right. Will do. And once you reach the handrail 4300, uh, you will report it to us. Now, Alec, regarding the wire ties, uh, so do you have two wire ties? Let us try two. Well, actually, I can use all 15 that I have here. Alec, no, 15 is not necessary, just two will suffice. All right. Uh, and uh, the plates, they are detaching uh, radially. Okay. Okay. You know, I think the two wire ties will be quite sufficient. All right. And also I see the uh, red feather on the camera, uh, and uh, yes, I guess it got tangled up uh, somewhere. It's uh, okay now. And uh, let me uh, wrap another wire tie. So, what should I pick? What wire tie should I go with? Uh, let's uh, pick this one. Uh, Oleg. Don't do too much work at this point because you're in EVA 53, you're going to have to unwrap it all. Okay. Uh, would it be sufficient like this? Uh, yes, I like uh, that. Will do. Okay, should I uh, tap again? I don't think it's going to work, but I can uh, give it a try. Oleg? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Oleg, if possible, please, please adjust the gauntlet of your uh, right glove. Try to uh, pull it up uh, to cover the connector. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Okay, it's covered now. Thanks. Uh, Sergey, uh, this is Denise. Uh, I'm at the handrail of 4300 copy all. And uh, Oleg, uh, 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 go ahead and uh, uh, open up the uh, handrail. Uh, tap uh, on the bracket using the wrench, and also you should translate uh, to handrail zero, uh, 4004. Uh, which is closer to the Pehewo. Uh, go ahead and uh, translate down uh, to uh, four, uh, 24 first and then slightly to the right. Your uh, work site is the uh, area of the uh, antenna uh, to the say, and uh, your task there is uh, to take photographs uh, of this uh, antenna. Uh, Oleg, uh, 
uh, please uh, tap at the base uh, from the inside, uh, on the inside of the handrail, uh, in that uh, uh, area where the indicator wouldn't fit. Yes, I found it. So did it um, pop out? Did it come out? Well, uh, yes, uh, but the uh, handrail uh, came out uh, of it. Uh, so, so could you please remove the MLI uh, flap? Uh, no, this is not what I'm trying to show. So this is this is the uh, handrail. Uh, it uh, came out, uh, as you can see, uh, from from a point where it was uh, secured. As you can see, there is a line here, and that's where it uh, came out from. So, Oleg, could you please uh, photograph this uh, handrail? Okay. All right, I'll take photos now. Let's see. So if I understand it correctly, uh, the handrail uh, came out of the station. Yes, uh, by about four millimeters. Just uh, uh, exactly uh, that same uh, clearance that uh, 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 we saw earlier that uh, uh, we lacked. Okay, Oleg, I say it now, and you can continue. Good view of uh, the European Space Agency's latest contribution to the International Space Station. It's a uh, long-awaited European robotic arm that is attached to the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. As you uh, are looking up almost to the top of Naoka toward the uh, Prishal node module and attached to it, uh, docked to it, if you will, Soyuz MS-21 that delivered uh, Artemiev, Medvedev, and Sergei Korsakov to the station a month ago. Sergey, uh, are you getting any uh, picture through the camera? Yes, uh, I am. And I know what you're talking about. I can see it in the camera. And uh, what about the handrail? Is it installed reliably? Uh, yes, uh, and uh, uh, it was installed reliably before, uh, but now uh, it fits. It is fit, so it's fine now. So the handrail uh, came out from the extension uh, just by uh, the same um, clearance that uh, we saw that didn't match. Uh, okay, so Alec, can you confirm that uh, it is installed uh, reliably? Yes, uh, confirm, and of course uh, you always need uh, the confirmation just in case. Okay, I'm taking a break. Oleg, Dennis, uh, uh, we're back from LOS. Okay. Uh, we're taking a break now. We break. All right, go ahead and take a break. Dennis, look. Uh, Dennis, uh, look. Uh, MLM and this underneath uh, your uh, right uh, hand, so please make sure that you do not touch anything in that area. 
Денис, подскажи, ты антенну наблюдаешь? Денис, uh, can you confirm that you see the antenna? Yes, I see many antennas. Uh, no, see many antennas. Uh, this is Oleg. Let me help you, uh, Denis. Uh, please, please wait for me. I'll uh, get over there. If possible, could you please tell me where it should be oriented? It should be oriented towards the uh, Pehawa. Uh, Denis, uh, please turn to the right uh, to make sure that uh, we can see you as well. This is the antenna on the MLM. Okay. And now up. Denis, did you uh, photograph the reflectors? Or, uh, so I don't have to do that right now. Okay. Okay, good. Oleg. And uh, uh, once you're done with your break, uh, please tr translate towards the uh, handrail one. In Inaudible. Dennis, please turn to the right. Так. И теперь голову выше. And uh, uh, please turn your head up now. Ты должен на нее как раз смотреть. You should be looking right at it. Такая большая круглая тарелка. Basically, it's a big round dish. Okay, copy that. Okay, let me try that. So, trackers should be on your right. So make sure that you don't uh, touch them as well. Copy. Denis, would it be possible to turn your head in such a way that we can see what you're doing too to make sure that we're looking at the same antenna? So, okay, I will try that now. Денис, it should be to your right on the MLM. There it is, there it is. You're looking right at it now. Is it this one? The camera uh, was turned towards it. It's not this one, it's uh, the one to the left, and more to the left. It's uh, uh, next to your left hand. This is the, the antenna that you're supposed to photograph. Yes, I uh, did take photographs of this antenna from uh, this uh, angle specifically. And while Oleg is installing the handrails, uh, please uh, take detailed photographs from different angles as well as the general view. Okay, copy that. Because if you do this now, uh, it's going to make uh, EVA 55 much easier for you. Денис, uh, you are still working in this area uh, where there are some cable connections and make sure that uh, you don't touch them. Okay, I am um, doing my best. Денис, 
I was going great. You did take the right photograph. And let's go ahead and start translating towards the handrail 4005, towards the SL transition ring on the transition ring. And you'll wait for Oleg there. Also, I wanted to tell you that handrail uh, 4005 uh, is named uh, after uh, Peter Dubrov. Copy that. Did he break it or something? We were able to install this handrail uh, on the second attempt during the uh, second DVA only. And uh, uh, Peter did all he could, all in his power, to install this handrail because it was not an easy job. Uh, so, and uh, the same for handrail 4 on ERA uh, uh, arm. It will be named after Oleg Artemyev. Well, I see the exact same handrail, uh, I, I think, here again, the exact same situation. So should I uh, tap on it? Uh, yes, uh, go ahead. Okay, well, it is installed uh, securely, reliably. Uh, Denise, uh, please uh, beware of the cables. Okay. Denise, I didn't copy. Please repeat your last. Yes, I was saying that I uh, am uh, careful. So, 4005. Yes, 4005. Now, please translate towards handrail 4006. Uh, okay, so uh, I did a couple of tasks, uh, and uh, I uh, can only see that it came out by approximately 0.5 millimeters. Excellent, Oleg. So the, mar the marks, they're, they're like halfway there, so not fully there. What about the indicator? Is it uh, all the way in? Uh, yes, uh, on both sides. And uh, I can uh, make a video. If you'd like, uh, I'll just uh, photograph uh, everything. Okay.
This is Mission Control Houston, three hours, 19 minutes into today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev and Denise Matveyev continue uh, to work on uh, the installation of a third handrail on the European robotic arm and to take pictures of uh, various points on the arm for documentation in advance of their next spacewalk on April 28th to continue the outfitting of the arm and the release of launch constraints and launch locks uh, that will enable the arm to uh, flex its muscles for the first time uh, since it was launched on the uh, Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module last July. Camera is off. Copy, Oleg. And I uh, checked that it is off. I'm moving towards Denise now. Oleg, we need to remind on the translation path. Uh, so once you start moving, uh, you're basically translating towards the PHO. Copy. So I'm going towards Denise. Oleg, could you check if uh, Erka uh, LED is on? Uh, it's um, very bright here, so I can't really see. So, is it not working? So, do you think it's working so how long have you started suspecting that it was working for for a while but we didn't want to distract you with that well you should have uh dennis was next to me and i could have forward cycled it uh, so you will translate uh, towards Denise, and then you can check it again. Uh, I can see it now. What do you see? Denise, you can see your leg, correct? Denise, can you check all the cameras that was you? I do not see you. You should have uh, translated towards the uh, FPU uh, using the circular handrail for zero zero five. Well, I did not expect to see you there. Look at this sensor. Stand by. Is 
Is it this hand rail? 4005. 4005? Uh, yes. Yeah, correct. So should I remove it? No, please do not do this. This is the handrail that's named after Petr Dubrov. And uh, you're supposed to be moving along uh, plane four for Zesto. This is uh, where we're, we're going. And also, could you uh, please check the LED, uh, check what? The camera's LED. And, uh, careful here. Uh, do, uh, make sure that you do not uh, uh, cut anything. Please be careful. Do you see this uh, sharp uh, corner here? Okay, so let's move away from the antenna and then you can uh, check everything. I don't think that uh, I can get through here. Please, please wait, stop, wait. Well, let me uh, get through first. Okay, so go ahead and uh, hand it to me. Slowly. So how are you doing? Did you get stuck? No, I'm uh, getting through now. It's so heavy. Okay, uh, go ahead and move away from the antenna. So can you check if uh, my LED is uh, illuminated or not? So one is on and two more are on. So this is the light here. One is on. So this one is on. I um, switch to cameras. Is it working now? Uh, I think uh, one of your LEDs is not illuminated. Could you please turn? So, this is the one uh, work light, the U.S. light. Uh, yes, uh, I uh, kept it uh, here. Okay, so there it is. So regarding the work site for the upcoming EVAs, would it be possible? Uh, would it be possible uh, to reach the uh, SM wait seven? Uh, from MLM. Okay, place seven. Stand by. Uh, there it is. Yes, I can see it now. There it is. One, two, three, four. So, are we supposed to uh, work in that area? Uh, yes. Uh, this uh, will be in the future. Uh, we'll be doing some work there. And so, what about the antenna? Uh, it's uh, fine. I don't really see any uh, obstacles. So, yes, uh, we can reach it, no, no problem, or uh, we can go from the uh, handrail named after Peter Dubrov. Okay, Oleg, 
uh, you can take a break now since you just finished uh, translating along this fast. And also, uh, can you film um, now? Well, you should have told me earlier. I can uh, film Denise uh, only. So, uh, Denise, please move back, uh, actually towards your feet. Uh, yes, move over there, and uh, I'll start taking pictures now. So we're not getting any pictures now, so I, I can't really uh, give you any recommendations. I guess that will work. It's not an activity, it's not a task, it's just taking pictures. All right, and there you go. As if you just got here. And you are at um, plate 7. And from the side of the handrail of Pyotr Dubrov, you have arrived and you are working. And try and make like a general overview of the whole setup. And here is the general view. And here is what we came from. And that's the whole translation path. How are you? Are you guys tired? Uh, EV2? I'm okay. That's good to hear. Oleg, thank you so much. We just uh, wanted to say a big thank you because it's going to be very um, beneficial for later EVAs. And on the camera, we still have four bars. So we've used up only one third. That is a plenty OLED. All you need to do is to take pictures of the adapter. And then you will be moving, going back home with no rush, just taking pictures and, uh, the, and imagery. Uh, you will be in orbital night in three and a half minutes, so please turn on your lights. Copy. Okay. And here's the French hook. Okay. 
There we go. Unintelligible. This is Mission Control Houston, three hours, 34 minutes into today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev and uh, Denise Matveyev uh, continue to work uh, diligently and efficiently along the timeline, having installed three handrails now on the European robotic arm, having removed thermal insulation from the elbow of the arm, and all is going well as uh, the crew is working uh, per the timeline. Meanwhile, up on board the International Space Station, we're just a few minutes away from the daily planning conference now. as uh, the remainder of the uh, International Space Station crew nears the end of its workday. So we are passing by one rather necessary antenna, the one that's rotating. Copy. And we got to the ring. And 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 we're translating to the ring. And Oleg, just a reminder, please make sure you do not touch that antenna with your left hand. Okay, so I can't touch it with my left hand. Well, neither left nor right. Just don't touch it. All right, I won't. Страница восемь, радиограмма двадцать пять сорок один, шага номер десять. Okay, I'm at the ring. And here is the French hook. Okay, stand by for a second. Let me get myself secured here. Give me your French hook. Wonderful. I got it. Let me secure it here. Stand by. Don't unhook yourself. No, I'm I'm staying where I am. All right, I have it secured to here and then there. Yeah, we got too many cloths here. Stand by. Okay. And it's on here, right? Unintelligible, I on too. Stand by. Maybe you need to take a break. Well, if you say so. Yeah, take a five minute break.
Так, ну мы Let's take a ride. Hansel, Munich, Subra, Moscow. Expedition 67, USOS is ready for the evening DPC. Good evening, Expedition 67. It has been a great pleasure for me to work with you on Orbit 2 uh, here in Houston. We have uh, four topics from Houston this evening. Uh, the first one is for Larry. We would like to uh, give you a heads up that we will be conducting a Dragon Centerline uh, camera checkout. Uh, the camera is not pointing inside the Dragon, but I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. Larry copies with a thumbs up. Okay, another one is for Larry and also for the entire crew. For your awareness, SpaceX will be conducting thruster firing test at around 0600 GMT for uh, 10 minutes. Of course, that's on the uh, Endeavor. And uh, so you will hear some thruster firing tomorrow morning for about 10 minutes in Dragon. Yeah, 0600, and we'll hear some uh, thruster firing from Endeavor. That's a good be back. And the uh, third topic is for Kayla. You asked us about the uh, autoscope specula. Um, we have no more new specula on board until MG18, so there's no action required for you at this time. Sure, thanks. Okay, and the last is uh, for everybody. Um, as for the um, Axiom 1 Endeavour undock tomorrow, 14.30 GMT undock is no-go due to weather. And we are looking at the 0200 GMT undock to see if weather improves to support landing. And uh, more details you will see on the timeline when you wake up tomorrow. Copy that, 14.30 uh, tomorrow is no-go and 0200. Uh, still to be determined whether that's good or not. Appreciate the heads up. Okay, uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Huntsville, Munich, and Scuba have no topics. Uh... And as uh, the Russian uh, spacewalk continues, you heard the call from uh, spacecraft communicator Koichi Wakata here in Mission Control up to the crew on board the International Space Station, all crew members that uh, a weather briefing was conducted uh, a short time ago uh, between SpaceX, Axiom, NASA, all interested parties. Unfavorable weather uh, at the uh, splashdown sites off the coast of Florida have resulted in a postponement of the undocking of the Axiom 1 crew. It had been scheduled for 9.35 a.m. Central Time, 10.35 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday morning. Instead, uh, the crew will receive a new timeline for their activities on Tuesday with pending weather, an undocking opportunity at approximately 9 p.m. Central Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday night. That would result in a splashdown shortly after uh, 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, April 20th. Another weather briefing is planned uh, for mid-morning on Tuesday to determine whether or not uh, the new undocking opportunity will be favorable or not as uh, SpaceX continues to evaluate weather conditions at the splashdown sites that are available. So again, the Axiom 1 undocking has been postponed from Tuesday morning to no earlier than Tuesday night, pending another weather briefing in the morning to determine whether or not uh, the weather at the splashdown zones can support a return to Earth for the Axiom 1 crew on Wednesday. Working. Meanwhile, we're three hours and 44 minutes into today's spacewalk.
Handrails have now been installed on uh, the European robotic arm that has been the focus of attention for Oleg Artemiev and Denise Medvedev throughout the day today. All of that work has gone uh, by the book, including the removal of thermal covers uh, from uh, the elbow of the 37-foot-long arm that it remains folded against uh, the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. Also, uh, thermal covers uh, were removed from uh, base points, as they're called. These are the points to which uh, the arm can ultimately uh, maneuver around and grapple to on uh, the multi-purpose laboratory module once full activation is completed of the arm. A uh, control panel box called the uh, European Robotic Arm Spacewalk Control Panel was installed and activated and checked out thoroughly uh, with the uh, Russian flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow as uh, work continues in the early stages of the activation and operation of the arm, which will continue over the course of the next several spacewalks. If you get a chance, you can start taking off the covers. be much uh, more convenient under, if we went underneath the Estrella boom. Do you want to go in? No, I can actually reach it. Yeah, it's bright and nice and cozy in there. All right, crew lock bag, we're leaving it behind. Yes, you leave the um, kit with the covers there. And you are standing by. Seems like it's a full moon today. Can you please push my feet up? You mean, like, push you? Yes. Give me a push so that I could get in there. Uh, you do want to get in there, right? Yes, because I wanted to um, secure a few items in there, too. So, do you want to get the PDM? Uh, well, yeah, and I would like to get a little bit um, further so that I could secure the crew lock bag. Okay. And I got it, and where do you want to put it? Well, I have a tether. Let me give you the crew lock bag. Hold on, let me secure the trash bag first.
Денис, когда будешь снимать... Денис. Не забудь его застраховать. So when you're going to be taking the trash bag off, please don't forget to secure it. Of course. But it doesn't want to to be untethered. So, could you secure the French hook here? The safety one? Do you have it secured? Yes. Please stand by one. All right, let it, let, I'll give you a hand and then you will. So what do you have? The trash bag. Okay, I can see it. And there, let's put it here. There. And you can secure it there. You can kind of hook it up there like a garland. This is Mission Control Houston. We're closing in on the four hour mark in today's spacewalk. Denise Matveyev in the field of view, along with Oleg Artemiev, are stowing uh, okay. items uh, that uh, no longer are needed for today's uh, remaining spacewalk tasks. They have completed everything so far that was uh, scheduled uh, on their workload. The uh, installation and connection of a European robotic arm control panel box. Tangled up. The removal of protective covers from payload interfaces and uh, base points, right. which uh, the arm will use uh, to affix itself to various points along the multipurpose laboratory module in the future. The uh, two cosmonauts installed three handrails, removed uh, thermal cover, from the elbow area of the European robotic arm and are soon uh, to install a portable workstation adapter on a payload interface uh, on uh, the uh, multi-purpose laboratory module near the arm, which uh, will be used uh, to house uh, payloads as they are being staged to various points uh, to be affixed on uh, the Naoka module for payload data gathering in the future. This one? Got wrapped around you? Are you unwrapping it? It's a small rat there. How is it working? Okay. Great. Where is it? 
And where are you going to put it? Where do you want to put it? I couldn't figure out what you were going to do with it. Do you need any help? Where is the pet I am? The pet I am is behind me, behind you. Can you secure it with a short safety tether? Okay. There you go. Oleg, do you have the crew lock bag secured? Yes. But we need to push it a little bit uh, further in. Yes, and please make sure that um, it's secured. Where is the PRM? And actually, uh, grab all those cloths and like stick them underneath the rubber band so that they're not floating all over. Okay. There, look. Really nice and tight bungees, and we can uh, push everything underneath them. Oh, look, Dennis. You have plenty of time, so take your time uh, placing all the um, kits that you brought in in such a way so that it's convenient for you to um, get back in. There you go. Looking great. And I'm going to take a break. Okay, sounds good. And Dennis, take a break. And make sure that the French hooks are secured. And the covers, the trash bag and the crew lock bag are all secured. With... Um, Yes, they are. Great. Now you can definitely take a break. You did work a lot. So the Perea portable workstation adapter is behind you, Dennis. You are passing me one hook, and I'm shifting it to the left. This is EV1. Towards the boom. And uh, now I'm ready to receive the second one from you. Sounds good.
Подожди, подожди, там. Stand by, stand by. Yes, I'm standing by. Сейчас вроде я же скрыл. Stand by one, I will move closer. Yes, go ahead. So give me one hook. Yes, I am ready to receive it. Okay, now uh, I'll move it here. Alex, Denise. So the EV duration is uh, four hours up to now. Copy. So you are moving along very nicely, a little bit ahead. And so you have plenty of time to take a breather to have a rest. All right, you, they, they're telling us to take a breather. Well, it's not easy here. We did not use those well, but uh, the ones that we have are, are working nicely. Well, Denny somehow is said that that the current cameras are still working. Uh, he sounded sad about it. Well, actually, that was his most joyful voice that he uses. Okay, so one uh, hook is outside. Uh, yes, we give you a go to proceed, guys. This, that one is heavy thinking. All right, so we are moving it. You, we cannot uh, attach it to ourselves. Yes, it is a very heavy kit. You're right. You cannot attach it to yourself. Yourself. So please take turns in moving it and uh, monitor it closely. Okay, will you hold it? Uh, I will locate my uh, hook. Yes, I'm holding it. Now, Denise, please uh, egress 
Slowly. All right. Okay, so you can rehook your tether so that the uh, tether is not on your way when you are aggressing. And I can hold it in the meantime. Yes. You can use it. Use the hook. Hold. Yes, I'm holding it. Now you will need to rehook your tether. Okay. Right, so the kid is now outside uh, the hatch, the EDA hatch. So Dennis is egressing and I am uh, holding the kid. Dennis, please look out, uh, make sure that your tether is not in the way, maybe to the left a little bit. Well, that's great. Guys, in a minute and they have uh, there will be sunrise where you are. Copy Moscow. Denise, how are things? Unintelligible. I am turning around. Do you need my help, Dennis? Now I'm looking for my short scissor.
Okay, the short one. Unintelligible. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 11 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev and Denise Matveyev now working on the final planned task of today's spacewalk as they uh, take a uh, payload adapter installation mechanism out of uh, the Poisk airlock and will move it uh, to the area of the uh, European robotic arm on the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module to install it. It will be used in the future for uh, payload activities and the staging of payloads that the robotic arm will move uh, back and forth uh, to various locations on Naoka for data gathering. The uh, crew has uh, completed all of the rest of the work for the day uh, with complete success. The installation and connection of the European robotic arm control panel on Naoka, the removal of protective covers from payload interfaces and base points to which uh, the robotic arm will affix itself for future operations. They've installed three handrails on the arm itself and removed a thermal cover from the elbow of the European arm. So what's the matter? It's behind, below your right hand. All right. Okay, the kit. I'm holding it. Uh, stand by, I will rehook my tether. Yes, I'm holding it. So I rehooked one tether uh, towards the ring. Ten by one. I will receive uh, the kit from you. I am holding it now. Okay, I will rehook my tether as well. This is Dennis. So do you need this second tether? Stand by one, Dennis. Unintelligible. Uh -huh. Okay.
Did you hook it up or stand by one? Yeah. Is something on the way? Yes, uh, there is this uh, mobile ring uh, over your head. No, no, you, you have to do it in the opposite direction. So you will have a short LOS, guys, soon. And then we will, it, it will be an extended um, video loss of signal. So you can proceed with the translation in the meantime. Go ahead. That is excellent. So the PRM adapter is on the translation ring already secured. And Dennis's uh, hook is on the ring as well. One uh, tether of Dennis. Guys, do you copy me? Yes, go ahead. So we might have a short LOS. Yes, we copy that. So please continue. So we are not receiving any video right now. So you can translate on Stella Boom. We are on the Stella Boom and I'm disconnecting here. From from the boom here. And uh, let's roll. Oh, stand by one. Is everything fine with you, Dennis? Yes. I thought maybe you should move uh, a little bit towards me so that uh, you do not um, touch antenna. The antenna is behind you, behind your back. If you turn a little bit towards the, the side, it will be great. Excellent. Okay, now let's roll. Guys, be careful. There is an antenna on the module. All right, let's roll. So we are uh, testing anchors here. We have arrived. All right, copy that. At least secure the ring, the translation ring here. In work. So where is the hook? It has a hook here. I cannot see it. Oh, here it is. The new one, the brand new. Right, we secured it. Now we are translating. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, this is number one. Now uh, let's do it with number two. I will move a little bit further, further. Now. Why is it uh, kind of free afloat here? So let us uh, make it uh, more stable. Okay. It should not move, move about like that. Here you go. Now uh, it will be easier to uh, attach. Now, so let us work with the kit. Let me reach it. Right, I need uh, to untie it here first. Stand by one. I am holding it and it is secured with one tether hook. So you can try to untie it. So you are now in the location where the pump is unstable. And please continue providing your reports. You might not hear me for about three minutes. All right. So we are rehooking the ramp on the handrail of MLM. Copy. And the same thing with the second one. Stand by. Okay, it is done. Now I have to untangle that one. Okay, let me do it. Oleg, all right, so let me rehook my trousers first. I move a little bit uh, away from you. So that we don't uh, have to be tethered to one handrail. Now I'm holding it. You can hook your tether there, set by one. Oh, you mean to this location? On the handrail? Yes, you hold it and I rehook my tether. Yes, I'm holding it, Oleg. I will move away a little bit first. Now, 
the handrail is uh, on your left, a little bit uh, over your left hand. That one? Yes, that one. Now you hold it, then it. Okay. Alex Denis, we had a short LOS. Uh, now we have recovered calm. Uh, yes, Moscow, go ahead. Well, it's good that we have recovered calm. Now we are hooking our tethers and we are uh, keeping an eye on the kit at all times. What about your uh, What about your fatigue? Are you fatigued? Uh, are you tired, guys? No. No, we even have started the real work, you know. Copy. Uh, let me hold it, Dennis. Uh, you rehook your tether, okay? Okay, sounds good. So they're twisted somewhat. All right. Okay, so um, this uh, uh, will be turned backwards, uh, and uh, this is uh, going to be. Uh, turn uh, with the front uh, side facing us. Is everything well? Hanging there, just a little bit left. And uh, uh, we are uh, seeing you guys. Давай, 
Do you have it? Uh, yes, all right. So I will um, move forward then. So the antenna is here, and uh, uh, we need to go around it. Uh, going around it. Uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, hand over this uh, kit. It's on the right, and also uh, make sure that you are careful with uh, the equipment on your right. And the hook is uh, installed here, inaudible. And I'm holding the kit, and Dennis uh, is uh, uh, translating now. Uh, the handrail 4108. Copy, Oleg, and the uh, EVA last time is 4 hours and 30 minutes. Thank you. Uh, for the update, This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 33 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev and Denis Madveyev continue uh, to work on uh, the final planned task of this spacewalk, the installation of a uh, portable workstation adapter on a payload interface uh, near the European robotic arm on the Naoka module of the uh, International Space Station. The crew uh, has completed everything else planned for today, the installation, connection, and checkout of the European robotic arm control panel, the removal of protective covers from payload interfaces and uh, base points, as they are called, to which the arm uh, has been attached since its launch on a Proton M rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome last July. The uh, cosmonauts also installed three handrails on the arm and removed a thermal cover from the elbow of the arm. I'm uh, translating uh, over this ravine. Uh, and uh, I'm now at handrail uh, 4110. Uh, next to um, Vettel, base point 3. Copy. And uh, uh, Denis uh, is uh, still securing his uh, tethers. Okay, Denis, stand by. I'm almost ready to uh, take it from you. Can you push it a bit? Okay, I have it now. I have it now, uh, and I'm holding it. This is the um, kit hook. Keep moving it. Okay, that's uh, all right now.
Wow. It's sunny enough here. Okay, let me hold it uh, and then I will press the ravine. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so um, please hold it, hold it, uh, and careful, uh, the radiator is here. Denise, how are you feeling? Do you feel tired? Oh, I feel tired slightly, but overall I feel well. Never mind, uh, he's not tired. I copy, Oleg and Denise. Well, uh, basically we have just started working, right? So is it the location that we need or not? Okay. Okay, so you're going to have to rotate the handle now uh, and uh, uh, we will press it down. So Dennis uh, should come from the other side and uh, you should be next to the handrail. All right. Well, we haven't reached it yet, but I was just asking. Uh, the tail to uh, best uh, point to is at the uh, location that uh, we need. Uh, I guess um, our goal is near. Excellent. Uh, really great. Okay, um, let me twist it a bit here, stand by, uh, uh, let me uh, grab it, okay, I'm holding it, okay, and also uh, let me switch my uh, tether hooks. Everything is new and shiny, beautiful. So many people uh, worked uh, on it. Okay, I have crossed the ravine now. Okay, and move a bit closer. Okay, give this one to me, okay? Excellent. Uh, please stand by. Uh, do not move uh, right now, otherwise it's going to go underneath you. Just move a bit, and that's it. And uh, I will take it from you now, and uh, let me make space for you. Uh, so how exactly are we going to position ourselves? I guess I'm going to switch to the circular handrails. And also make sure that you do not touch the uh, target near point two. Please repeat your last. Well, you just touched the uh, target, the one with the black cover. Please do not touch it. Okay. Так. 
Так. Сейчас я все вот расположусь. Окей, okay, let me uh, position myself here. Начнем. And we're gonna start. Handrail. All right, I'm uh, holding it, so you can go ahead and start translating now. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, let me hold it. Uh, so uh, I guess we've reached our destination. So hold it, please. Uh, do you guys need a break? Uh, you've just finished uh, translating uh, to uh, this area. Well, uh, uh, what's the uh, work order here? Remove the uh, cover, position it. Is that correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, uh, remove the cover and then um, position the uh, one target next to another. And uh, before we start doing that, a quick question. Uh, aren't you tired? Uh, no, we uh, don't want to uh, waste time. So, Oleg. The, uh, Tether, a boy from your kid, got stuck, but it's uh, fine now. Okay, guys, uh, if you're ready, go ahead and start removing the cover. And make sure that you secure it first. So, where is it? I have it. All right. Are you holding it? Uh, yes. Привет. Uh, Small uh, red hook is uh, attached. Uh, copy and I'm removing the cover now. Papa. There it goes. And let me reposition it. Uh, yes, we need uh, to make sure that uh, <coughs> one target is oriented towards the other. And the target itself. Is it on your side? Yes, it is on your fault. So should I uh, switch my uh, tethers? And I'm going to give this one uh, to you. Uh, Oleg, uh, Denise, uh, we just had an LOS. Uh, so you should uh, install one target next to another. Yes, well, first we removed the covers, and now we need to uh, switch our tethers to make sure that it is positioned uh, uh, better. Okay, let me hold it, and you will pass this to me. Uh, 
So you can uh, secure it on the handrail, uh, and uh, I will rehook it later. Okay, so I'm holding it. Opa, so. There it goes, that's it. Stand by. So the target is oriented towards me now, correct? Yes. Okay, so let's uh, go slowly. Uh, yes. Uh, do not rush. Uh, just go slowly and uh, position the uh, kits and the targets, etc. All right, Godspeed. Uh, let me take a look at the target now. So, um, should we go this way? Where is the target? So I see it now. Uh, it's on the top there. It should be there. No. So I, I think we're, oh, we need to move, move it more. Just like this. So what's going on with the tethers? Should it go here? Like this. Stand by. Wait. More and uh, rotate with more go uh, counterclockwise. Okay, now uh, it is uh, correct. And uh, this is Mission Control Houston. Outside of uh, the Russian segment of the station, in the vicinity of the uh, European robotic arm on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Oleg Artemiev and Denise Matveyev continue their work to install a portable workstation adapter at a payload interface that uh, will be used to, to stage payloads for the European robotic arm to grab and uh, move to various uh, points in which uh, those payloads will be affixed on the surface of Naoka in the future. Uh, yes, we can see it now. This is the uh, final planned task of today's spacewalk, which is now four hours and 48 minutes in duration. The two cosmonauts emerging uh, from the Poisk airlock at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, as they open the hatch to the airlock to begin this spacewalk, the 249th, in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades. Uh, yes, could you go ahead and uh, which uh, uh, this uh, hook. So, Oleg, I think you can uh, reach it with this tether. I think it would be sufficient. Yes, it should be fine. Yes, take a break. Uh, take a break and uh, you will then proceed with uh, connecting it. So right now, or should I go clockwise? Uh, yes, uh, clockwise to uh, retract it. All right. Denis, is the uh, PRM adapter too heavy to hold? Because Oleg is taking a break and you're holding it. This is Oleg, I'm also uh, helping to hold it uh, from the top. And this is Denis, so this thing is uh, fine. And Denis, so before you start rotating the wrench, make sure that 
uh, that the um, uh, PRM adapter uh, is uh, sitting tight against the uh, special. Uh, like this. So let's uh, uninstall this uh, wrench now because if we start doing it right away, then uh, this can be detached. Should go here. Uh, yes. Yes, and one more thing. The uh, socket should be flushed in such a way that. What was that? Can you pull it back to um, operating position? And when I uh, try lifting it, it comes out. Alex, put it back to um, operating operation, and then uh, you can uh, push again. Okay, uh, it is uh, in place now. Should we start uh, rotating? Uh, yes. Uh, push down and uh, uh, keep rotating until uh, it clicks uh, and uh, uh, it should be retracted. Okay. It should be approximately uh, 70 turns. I guess uh, uh, we should have brought some uh, rubber tie. Yeah. So we didn't think of that. Alex, please repeat your last. Uh, it's loose. So we should have brought a uh, rubber tie uh, to secure it. To secure it in place. Yes. Because it's loose. Well, it's uh, loose and inaudible. Oleg, I didn't copy. So I start rotating it and uh, it uh, feels loose. Okay, I guess it's gonna work. Yes. So what's going on here? I guess it's a mess. Uh, we should have brought something to secure it with. Я 
Yes, it should be positioned like this, uh, and uh, um, I am going to uh, fold it down with uh, both hands. Okay. Uh, yes, we uh, really need that uh, rubber tie here. Yes, indeed, it uh, uh, would work great here. Yes, I'm holding it. Let me try it. Uh, yes, I'm holding it. Stand by. Okay, uh, I guess I'm in a good position now. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, yes, it is in place now. Are you holding it? Uh, I guess we need some slack here. Okay, uh, let me uh, untwist it. Oh, uh, you are rotating it in the wrong direction. Uh, it is supposed to be retracting. Please wait. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. Started to go up. Stand by. We would like to ask you to secure the uh, French hook of the red closer to yourself. So you would like to have it a little bit tighter, right? Well, you know. When we are trying to rotate it, uh, it's coming up. Is that how it's supposed to be? Well, you made too few uh, rotations, turns, uh, to for us to be sure that it's secure. Okay. Oleg or Dennis, actually, Dennis, maybe you can have that this rope above or over your um, glove, not on the side of your palm, but on the outer side. Stand by. Okay, then hold on. And now let's try. I I got it. Go ahead.
This is Mission Control Houston. We've just passed the five hour mark in today's spacewalk by Denise Matveyev, wearing the uh, suit with the blue stripes on your left, and Oleg Artemiev, wearing the suit with the red stripes on your right. The two cosmonauts uh, working very efficiently on the final task of today's spacewalk, the completion of the installation of a portable workstation adapter on a payload interface point on the outside of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. This work coming after uh, this spacewalk uh, began the first in a series of such excursions to activate and operate the European robotic arm that was launched on Naoka last July when uh, the module itself was launched uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a Proton, a proton M rocket docking uh, to the port that had previously uh, been uh, occupied by the pier's docking compartment for a number of years. Today's work uh, involved the installation and connection of the European Robotic Arms spacewalk control panel. That all checked out in great shape. The uh, two cosmonauts removed protective covers from a series of payload interfaces and base points for the arm to which it will ultimately walk off and attach itself uh, for the operation of uh, payload uh, placement and uh, spacewalker uh, movements around the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station. The two cosmonauts installed a trio of handrails on the arm itself and removed a thermal cover from the elbow of the arm. The next spacewalk that uh, Artemiev and Matveyev will conduct is on April 28th, in which they'll go back outside the Poisk module airlock to remove a number of launch locks that held uh, the arm in place during its liftoff and transit to the International Space Station and uh, begin uh, the first uh, monitoring of the task to uh, have the arm actually move away from its uh, fixation point right now on Naoka to uh, ensure that uh, it can actually uh, operate and move, uh, albeit in very slow fashion, in its initial stage of its checkout activities. The arm will be used to ultimately uh, place a radiator uh, from one location to another for its deployment on the multipurpose laboratory module for heat uh, dissipation, and uh, will ultimately uh, move an airlock that is currently uh, located on Naoka to its final uh, uh, operational destination on the multipurpose laboratory module so that uh, the Russian segment will have two different airlocks from which spacewalks can be conducted. So where are we? All right, we have the most of it secured. Try and rotate it. All right, it's not even wobbling. Great.
Да прошел человек. Да прошел человек. Unintelligible. No, not yet. All right, let me hold it for a second. That's probably too many. Almost 70. Hey, Sergey. Sergey has said his goodbyes, right? Yes, he did. All right, let me uh, turn it a few more times. Okay, there we go. Now, please secure the uh, tool, the wrench. With the wire tie, right? Yes, and then take a break, please. Okay. Well, you little wrench, let me secure it. You. And uh, on telemetry, we see that the PRM adapter has been successfully installed. Hooray! So it's, this work definitely wasn't in vain. That's right. One red, two red. Stand by for a second. Are you moving to the right? Does it need to be, uh, well, it needs to be um, at the bottom. Then it's probably going to be enough. And here and now in this direction. All right, we have the handle secured, and we're taking a break. Take a break, because it's a manual drive, and you will proceed to in the direction of MRM. I think it's too much. Okay, and they haven't floated away. No, they have not.
Wow, this is so beautiful. Unintelligible. Oleg, do you have a chance to... Oleg, could you um, verify what's the status of the MLI, of the fueling uh, unit, um, just to make sure whether it's uh, stitched down or not, or sewed on? Uh, do you want me to check the area where the valve is? Yes, uh, the valve specifically. Well, when we're on our way back, we'll definitely check. Well, we can go and check it now. And do we want to leave the um, tethers? No, we'll need to take the tethers back. And the adapter needs to be um, secured to the manual drive. So now you need to unscrew two wing nuts and put it in the open position. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 14 minutes into today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Denise Medveyev. The two cosmonauts are currently wrapping up the final task of today's spacewalk, that being the installation of a portable workstation adapter on a payload interface to which future payloads will be mounted near the uh, European robotic arm on the outside of the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module. The two cosmonauts uh, completed everything on their uh, task list for the day. The installation and connection of the European robotic arm spacewalk control panel near a base point to which the arm is currently mounted. The uh, full checkout in all modes of uh, that uh, Control panel were completed uh, by Russian flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov. Everything checked out in great shape. The two cosmonauts removed protective covers from a series of payload interfaces and base points to which the arm will be affixed in the future. They installed three handrails on uh, the arm itself, removed a thermal cover from the elbow of the arm that uh, was temporarily stowed and will be jettisoned during the next spacewalk this pair of cosmonauts will conduct on April 28th. And uh, again, uh, they're wrapping up work on the final task of the day, the installation of a workstation adapter for payloads on the outside of the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The next spacewalk, again, uh, that's planned for April 28th by Artemiev and Matveyev, will see them uh, remove additional thermal covers uh, from the uh, European robotic arm. Yeah. They'll release a number of launch locks that have held the arm in place on Naoka since it lifted off uh, with the laboratory module on a Proton M rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome last July. And uh, they will watch as uh, commands are sent uh, to actually back the arm off of its two uh, grapple points. 
very much like the uh, Canada Arm 2 robotic arm on the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. Unintelligible. There are uh, two end effectors on the European arm, yes. which when unfurled measures 37 feet in length. The uh, European arm uh, always was designed uh, to augment the operation of the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm and the Japanese robotic arm on the Kubo module on the U.S. segment of the station since uh, both Canada Arm 2 and the Japanese arm uh, cannot reach the Russian segment. So this now will provide three robotic arm capabilities for the International Space Station in the future. Well, this activity uh, has been ongoing throughout the course of the day. Uh, mission managers uh, representing uh, the International Space Station program, NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom met uh, in a weather briefing and concluded that the uh, first undocking opportunity for the Axiom 1 crew on the Crew Dragon Endeavor tomorrow morning would not be acceptable from a splashdown weather standpoint. And so the decision was made to waive off the morning opportunity and point uh, to an evening opportunity on Tuesday night, weather permitting. The way uh, the programming uh, will work for tomorrow is that the uh, farewell remarks by the Axiom 1 crew will be broadcast on NASA television at uh, 6 a.m. Central Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, right after the completion of the Crew 4 virtual news conference that will take place uh, from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Crew 4 astronauts, uh, Commander Chell Lindgren, Pilot Bob Hines, and uh, mission specialists Jessica Watkins and Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency arrived at the Kennedy Space Center several hours ago for the final phase of their uh, pre-launch training that will lead to a liftoff on Saturday morning from the Kennedy Space Center at 5.26 a.m. Eastern Time. Getting back to tomorrow's activities, the farewell remarks will stay where they are on the timeline for the crew. That will be followed by uh, the crew members on board taking a nap at midday and then reconvening on Tuesday night, weather permitting, for uh, the closing of the hatch that is scheduled around 8 p.m. Eastern Time and an undocking at approximately 10 p.m. Eastern Time to uh, begin the trip home for the four Axiom 1 crew members with a splashdown scheduled in mid-afternoon on Wednesday, April 20th. This all is contingent on uh, the weather being acceptable for the next splashdown opportunity uh, and uh, the next undocking opportunity for Axiom 1. Another weather briefing is planned for Tuesday morning to assess conditions to support a Tuesday night undocking opportunity. Although here, we probably want to have it more secure. And is it this one that we will be working with? Yes. And you can close it. Thank you. It's closed. Sergey, this is M. Cross up, Moscow called Sergey on Space Ground 2. And let's tighten this uh, wing nut. Tighten it. 
Okay. And let's just make sure you we can't it can't be unscrewed. Yes. And please make sure that the tab is in the open position. It's in the open position. So that's the light kit, right? Is that what we call a light kit? Yes. What did you don't forget to don't forget we we actually um, would always attach a barber when we were training to it when we were training in the NBL. Oh really? All right, so we need to get that French hook, right? Let me um, get there, get get to that spot. And I'll um, try to be here. And here is the hook. I should probably attach it to myself. Uh, short red. Or maybe... Um, an OTA. Well, I'm uh, securing it to my... Um, short red and the other one can be secured to the um, handrail from one handrail to the other sounds good I got my hand caught in there, my left hand. Can you help me out? Well, not with the late left one yet. Okay, and I got untangled. So I would attach it to myself then. Yes, attach it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you'll be going first and I will follow you. Sounds good. And the second red or umbilical to be secured to us. So the um, EVA time is uh, 5 hours 25 minutes. Uh, well, what else do we um, need to, to do? So And you will have to come back uh, again and 
We just wanted to let you know that probably you won't have enough time for the camera because um, you will have spent some time translating. And I think um, it will be enough and we could have done that. And at the uh, five hour, 27 minute mark into uh, the spacewalk, the two cosmonauts have completed uh, the final task of the day, that being the installation of a portable workstation adapter on a payload interface to which payloads will be mounted in the future for movement uh, via the new European robotic arm. With that, uh, Artemiev and Matveyev will begin to clean up uh, their work site collect their tools and other equipment that they've used during today's spacewalk, and uh, shortly will make their way back down uh, the Strela boom uh, to translate uh, back toward the Poisk airlock, where they will conduct a final inventory of all their equipment before uh, moving inside of the airlock and closing the hatch. That will mark the official end of today's excursion. Okay, and we are translating. All right. Forty-one zero nine and forty-one zero eight. Okay, when are we going to have the installation time? Done by what? About in about 12 minutes, last year.
So this is the radiator installation location? Yes. It is here, uh, the protective, unintelligible. We have reached this reliable. One tether is already attached to the ring. Copy, Alec.
I will be on this side and you will be on the opposite side, correct?
Five hours, 42 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. Artemiev and Medvedev are wrapping up uh, all of their activities around the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, now in the vicinity of the Strela telescoping boom that they will shinny down to uh, return to the Poisk module and uh, the uh, airlock from which they emerged at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time today to begin uh, this 249th spacewalk in support of space station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. Okay. We had a good uh, translation. Uh, now we can take pictures of the surroundings. Okay, Dennis, have a look. Uh, I'm uh, um, taking pictures and video. of the boat. That is how are you feeling? Are you tired? So should I just uh, un unscrew and unravel this bolt? Alec, let us do it next time. Well, you know, who knows what will happen next time. You will have to do the inspection of the hardware and the tools and to dry out your spacesuit. Well, uh, you know, there is a there is a lot of budget still. Now, Alec, uh, move closer to the EVA hatch. All right, in work. Actually, it is time uh, to go back. Uh, okay, yes, we are moving. Amazing view. Sure. Sure. Alec, Dennis, uh, move closer to the hatch. It is time. Yes. Yep. Uh, 
we are starting to translate towards the fetch. Well, maybe we should clean the window here. But, you know, Sergei wants letters. You know, the windows are uh, not clean. You know, you will have plenty of opportunities and plenty, plenty of work uh, during the next EVAs, guys. Okay, that is, uh, let's move. So what, what is the matter there? You would, you don't want to leave, Dennis? Okay, so try to move. Unintelligible. That is, you know, I cannot, uh, I cannot move you, you know, you, your weight like uh, about 200 kilograms, so could you please push, uh, and uh, then you will be able to move. Actually, you, you can even get stuck here. There is a plenty of uh, chances to do that. the batteries, the arrays. I don't want to let you go. Stand by one. So, you know, you can just squeeze behind the boom. Okay, please secure everything. Yes, don't worry, we will do that. Now, the sun is so bright here. I think, uh, you know, these bungees got stuck here. I think we should have done it uh, differently. Okay, 
Okay, so where is this safety tether here? It's uh, not far from you, so that where is your hook? Okay, I am securing it. Here ago I found it. This is done. The ring is secured. Copy, Alec. Now I need to translate. That's a lot of background noise. Can you do you copy me? Well, oh, hardly. How do you copy me? We copy you, but now the the noise uh, is gone. All right, copy. How do you copy me now? Well, it's uh, the background noise again. So what about now? I. I can hardly hear you. I can hardly hear you, Moscow. So, Dennis? Okay, please uh, go ahead. Okay, so when you are ready, Alec, uh, uh, Move the manual drive, unintelligible. Go ahead, Dennis. We can use another handrail. So we are both, uh, we got off uh, from the boom, both of us, copy. 
Yeah, there's a lot of noise. Okay, so it looks like some kind of a motor is working. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a, it looks like it's uh, near the progress vehicle. That's where it is coming from. Well, don't worry. So should I first uh, put in the manual drive, or should I ingress first myself? What's going on? Uh, so could you please come again? You can secure the manual drive to the handrail and then uh, after you ingress you can take it in. All right. And also you should inspect your spacesuit. Okay. One hook from the kit is inside. Copy, Oleg. And the second one will be there shortly. All right. Let's get in the manual drive and then proceed with the checkout of the suits. All right, you've been exactly six hours. Um, you've been outside exactly for six hours. Okay, we copy. That's good. We should have stayed a little bit longer and done something else. All right, uh, Dennis, Oleg, if you are ready, start with the suit inspection. This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, two minutes into the uh, spacewalk by Artemiev and Matveyev. You uh, are looking at Denis Matveyev, who is wrapping up the first spacewalk of his career for Artemiev, the fourth of his career, a completely successful spacewalk in which uh, the two cosmonauts began the outfitting 
of uh, the European robotic arm on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, installing and connecting a control panel, removing protective covers from payload interfaces and base points to which the arm will move about uh, the outside of Naoka. The two cosmonauts installed three handrails, removed a thermal cover from the arm's elbow, and uh, installed a portable workstation adapter on one of the payload interface areas on the outside of the multipurpose laboratory module. The two cosmonauts uh, will climb back inside the Poisk airlock momentarily. Uh, they'll spend about 10 minutes uh, inspecting each other uh, to make sure their suits are clean. And then uh, we'll wait uh, for their sublimators or cooling uh, apparatus uh, to uh, bring them back to the proper temperature inside the airlock before they close the hatch that will mark the official end of today's spacewalk. Also, just an FYI, you still have the ratchet wrench uh, attached to, to your uh, French hook and secure it with your French hook. Uh, make sure that it's actually secured. It is. I have it secured. It seems like it's just floating next to you. I may have may have just gotten caught on something. Sure. Right, I got it. Do you see anything else? Anything off nominal? No. One of my gloves is looking good. The other one is not so much. Um, so... If you see... Do, do you want us to wipe down the uh, suits? Well, if you see contamination, uh, some dirt in any um, of the areas, you need to grab the towels and uh, wipe it all down. Do you have it ready? Yes. And uh, let's check. Uh, could you check me too? Yeah, it's also yellow. All right, my left glove is covered with something yellowish, and Dennis's right one is covered with the same something. No, we copy. Grab the towels and wipe it all down. Will do. Somewhere on top. All right, one French hook needs to go here, uh, close to you. So, where should I uh, secure it to? Well, actually, maybe the hatch cover. Are uh, you holding it? Got it? I'm getting the towel out. All right, I got the towel.
And here is the water type. And oops, it floated away. Give me the towel. It's on your right side. And let's get it secured. down your gloves. Yes, yes, definitely we did. into the uh, spacewalk. Artemiev and Matveyev uh, have wiped down uh, their suits and gloves. One of the towels used uh, for that uh, wipe down uh, is being uh, affixed with a wire tie to the outside of the Russian segment. It likely will be jettisoned uh, during the next spacewalk. This pair of cosmonauts will conduct on April 28th to continue the outfitting of the European robotic arm. They're now performing uh, the expected uh, inventory of all their tools uh, before they make their way back inside the Poise gear lock as they uh, begin to wrap up this spacewalk, highly successful spacewalk, that uh, initiated uh, the activation and uh, outfitting and commissioning of the European robotic arm on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The arm having launched with Naoka last July from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Trash bag. 
A small trash bag is still attached to me. Poppy, looking good. Now, you also three small, small reds. Three small, small reds, and one small, small red with the uh, 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 for the tray adapter. I have one small red for the ratchet wrench, and the other one is for the camera, and the other one is for uh, the um, knife, and the other one is for the adapter. That's right. Also, you should have a large small red. I have it. I have one large small red. And you also should have an adjustable tether. And the adjustable tether has been accounted for. On the crew lock bag, right? Oh, it's, yes, it's attached to the crew lock bag. Copy, Oleg. Now, you have a go to ingress. And we will perform uh, the same inventory for Dennis, then. Uh, could you please update the IMS, guys? Of course. Just as a memento. Dennis, are you ready? have one okay Dennis there was a, an LOS a short LOS let's uh, do it one more time and let me like I will just name the items and you will uh, and get, you will confirm the gap keeper um, do you have it we do a large trash bag it's inside. Copy. An OTA. The two caddies in place. Two caddies in place. A swing arm is in place as well. We copy. And you should also have three uh, French hooks for small, small reds. Have one uh, for the cutter. Another one is for the GoPro. And I took one um, safety tether from the large trash bag. Okay, and what about the, adjust, uh, the adjustable tether? It's inside. I actually didn't even take it outside with me. Uh, keeper um, is in one kind of bundle with other items. And a large, small red. Yes, it is there. And present. Copy. Dennis, Oleg, please turn off your HECA cameras. Okay. Large camera is off. Oleg, could you please confirm the uh, camera has been turned off? Hold on, hold on. You just caught me 
mid-stride, so to say, as I was uh, translating. I'll answer in a second. Stand by. Dennis. What was the handrail that you used to secure the uh, towels to? It's uh, 6035, that's the handrail. So both towels are on this um, handrail. Is that right? Is that correct? Maybe. Yes. Correct me. Yes. Oleg, please report once you have the camera off. Will do. Maybe you can get closer to me. All right. Can't really reach you that easy. Oh wow, you you're pretty far, are you? Yes, I'm pretty far away. Stand by. Maybe we can you can use just one inside. This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, 19 minutes into the spacewalk, as Oleg Artemiev and uh, Denise Matveyev wrap up their spacewalk for the day, about to enter the airlock, following uh, an inspection of their suits and an inventory of all of the tools they used in this initial spacewalk, the first of at least about a half a dozen such spacewalks in which they will and have uh, outfitted uh, and begun to activate the European robotic arm. That robotic arm, 37 feet in length, is uh, ultimately going to be used to augment the Canadarm2 robotic arm and the Japanese robotic arm that uh, have serviced the US OS segment of the International Space Station for many years now. Those two arms uh, can't reach over to the Russian segment, hence the need for yet another robotic arm, this time uh, supplied by the European Space Agency to enable payloads and people to move about and be installed in various locations of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. And uh, Dennis's camera is off as well. Great. Now, Dennis, you can get inside. Copy. All right, two uh, French hooks are inside and I am ingressing. We copy. Dennis. Once you are inside, 
get the protective ring ready, but please do not close the hatch, uh, not just yet. I copy. Oleg, Denis, go ahead. Well, when you situate yourself inside, before you remove the protective ring, we are going to turn off the sublimators, and while the sublimators are drying, uh, that's when you can start working with the uh, protective ring. All right, that sounds like a plan, and we'll be situating ourselves meanwhile here. Where do you want my head to go? Towards the hatch, because you'll have to close the hatch. Oh, sorry. You okay? Did I? All right. No, no, no. Don't go backwards. Maybe we should take it with us, or should we leave it outside? Outside. Well, I am inside. All right, and grab this uh, tether with you. Will you reach? Can you reach it? No, that one. The um, orange one? Yes, the orange on the left side, that's kind of going outside. Dennis, Oleg, since you're inside, we should follow Mr. Glazov's advice. Okay. Oleg, Dennis, this is Gennady Glazov. Could you please turn off your sublimators and put the hot cold um, handle uh, in the open position and the uh, ISR um, can be turned off already. All right, it is off. The SR system is off. We copy. Hmm. So. This is Mission Control Houston. Now six hours, 25 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. Artemiev and Medveya back inside the Poisk airlock. The hatch is still open as they uh, wrap up a few uh, final tasks before getting the green light from Russian flight controllers to close the hatch that will mark the official end of today's spacewalk. Copy. So uh, the counter will start up now. Uh, so it may take about 10 minutes um, for the dry out. But uh, if uh, it dries out earlier, then it will let you know and tell you, basically show you uh, that uh, it's all nominal and norma or normal. And then you can, and meanwhile you can work with the uh, protect, uh, with the protective ring. Okay. And if you are all like Dennis, if you are ready, you can start with uh, removing the protective ring. So, please uh, rotate uh, the handles 90 degrees. Hold on, let us remove the protective. All right, let's uh, try. Okay, 
And me too. Over. There we go. Perfect. And could you help me pull it a little bit down or out and out or down and outside? No, just down. All right, where are you going? I just got tangled up a little bit. The camera got tangled up. It's okay. Well, you have your visor still down. Isn't it too dark? Like, is it not too dark for you? No, it's not too dark and it's not scary. Let me push you up a little bit. Oleg, Denis, Dennis, once you stow the protective ring, please let me know. I will have some recommendations for you. Okay, we have it stowed. And what's your recommendation slash request? So, did you want us to unscrew any screws or bolts? Okay. I just uh, wanted to say that our cartridges are limited. Our cartridges eight uh, eight hours thirty seconds. It, it's past eight hours, so you will get this message anyway, and Dennis is going to get it pretty soon as well. Ola, Dennis, please. A review and inspect, uh, please inspect your gloves uh, one more time so that you definitely have your gloves cleaned and there is nothing left. Well, it, they are a little bit yellowish, but we have uh, plastic, um, but we have uh, bags to um, stow the gloves in. For mine, it's the right glove, and for Dennis's, it's the left one. In, in, but in general, they're looking okay. Yeah, they, they're just a little bit dirty, dusty, but other than that, all right. Uh, we're gonna uh, clean it up later. You can rest now. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be sending by uh, for hatch, EV hatch uh, closure confirmation copy. Uh, EV elapsed time is 6 hours and 30 minutes. You have completed all the tasks and all the tasks have been uh, completed perfectly. This is EV2. Um, the tail drying uh, is uh, in nominal position. Copy. The temperature, both temperatures should not exceed uh, 15. They do not exceed 15, but they should be uh, above 15 for both water and uh, gas mixture. So, wh what should we do? Uh, no, the pump uh, uh, is actually doing the drying because it circulates warm air and uh, it accelerates uh, the drying process. I can see the pump from here. Oleg, I can hear you. And uh, he said that we'll be able to Thank 
теперь эти болты тебе будут сниться. Олег, uh, from now on uh, you're gonna see these bolts in your dreams. Uh, well, we needed to make sure that you will be seeing them in your dreams. Yes, I can see it here. Uh, Oleg, don't you worry. Uh, they, uh, I'm already dreaming about this uh, EVA. I know that. I know that uh, uh, you are a very responsible person. Six hours, 33 minutes into the uh, spacewalk, Artemiev and Medveyev uh, drying out their spacesuits, as is common practice in the airlock. Before they uh, begin uh, the procedures to close the hatch, they've removed the outer protective ring along the uh, circumference of the hatch that uh, kept it nice and safe and secure during the course of the spacewalk that began at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Later, and the eight Russian EVA is marked uh, in terms of elapsed time from hatch open to hatch closed, so we'll be standing by for that, as well as official word from Moscow and the Russian flight controllers on the official hatch closure time, after which we'll uh, provide updated spacewalk statistics for you. not been updated, so it is still on using the nine hours. Okay, copy all. And uh, Oleg, uh, what do you see on your uh, counter? The ore uh, drying, 6.47 on the left and nine minutes on the right. Copy. 6.47, uh, this is the time when you switch to internal power. Yes, and nine minutes is the drying time. So once you once you see 10 minutes, uh, you will see the message that the drying is nominal, and then you are going to close the hatch. Uh, okay, copy all. Oleg, look at the GoPro, which uh, was Could you please check the status of your uh, GoPro, uh, which was secured, yes, it was secured near the hatch, and the other one was also secured, so uh, everything is uh, fine in that regard. Copy, Oleg. Uh, Denise, so how do you feel about your very first EVA? Well, here I did not unscrew the bolt. So, uh, Oleg, did you get the message that drying was nominal? I missed it. I think it uh, went away. I, I guess I did get the message. Okay, your goal to close the hatch. Copy. Олег, Денис, можно ослабить слабину фаус под тягом? Олег, Денис, вы можете выбрать свои тезы сейчас. Ослабляем. Это работает. Ослабляем, ослабляем. Снять карабин с проушенным на панели 201. The hook is also on panel 201. Uh, yes, uh, correct, and we don't really have another one here anyways. Okay, go slowly, and now you can close it. Uh, so please drop the hook on the handrail. Uh, and uh, start closing the hatch. Uh, make sure that uh, there, there is no fog around uh, the hatch. Remove the hatch cover and uh, please rotate the, uh, the handle to hard stop uh, along the uh, arrow pointing to closed position. Продолжение следует... 
Uh, well, the, the cord got uh, wrapped around the uh, handle here or something. So I'm closing it. I will keep closing it now. And uh, put it underneath the uh, guide rails. Okay, so the hatch is closed. All I, and please still the hatch tool. Okay, thanks. So we need to sell the hatch tool. The hole is closed. Uh, thank you, Sergey. Oleg, Denis, so thank you very much for your work. Uh, EV uh, time is 8 hours and 37 minutes. You, you've got to be kidding me. Do you mean 6 hours? Yes, 6 hours. 37 minutes. Uh, okay, so the uh, hatch tool is filled. And again, thank you very much, you guys. You did an excellent job. Thank you. And we will continue next week. Of course. And during this week, uh, we will be working together, and then there is another EV coming up next week. And uh, I guess we'll be waiting, looking forward to get the new timeline. Uh, sure, I will uh, send the new timeline this uh, week for you guys. Timeline, the right program for all the upcoming uh, prep activities. Thank you. Sergey, thank you very much. And uh, uh, also, uh, congratulations on your first uh, EVA, uh, Sergey. And uh, 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 it, it, you really did an excellent job uh, supporting the EVA. Uh, it was great. Uh, it, it was uh, really uh, unprecedented. Thank you, guys. Uh, you also performed at the uh, highest level. And uh, Denise, congratulations on your first uh, spacewalk. Uh, everything was just great. And uh, uh, it's time for me to sign off for a handover to the other specialists here. And uh, um, I'm wishing you success uh, in your mission and uh, in all that you do. Thank you, Sergey. Uh, good luck to you. All the best to you guys. Uh, goodbye. Good luck. Okay, so uh, who's going to talk to us now? Is it going to be Dima? Uh, well, I guess I need to uh, position myself closer to the deck area. There is space here. There is one hook that got underneath a tether. There it is. Oleg, Denis, how do you read me? This is Dmitry. Uh, I uh, will be guiding the repress. Yes, uh, Dmitry, hello. Very glad to hear your voice. And same here, guys. And Oleg, Denis, please uh, position yourself comfortably for uh, repress. And uh, please uh, uh, make sure that you have uh, all the cue cards for repress. It should be page 4, uh, 42. All right, so uh, uh, cue cards 10. Step four, and uh, we will start on my go. Copy. Sergey, uh, for Dmitry, uh, 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 for, uh, for repress. Sergey from MLM, uh, how do you read me? Loud and clear. Dimitri, how do you read me? This is uh, Sergey. 
Uh, Sergey, uh, we uh, can hear you, but you're coming in with interference, and I guess Dmitry uh, cannot hear you now. Dmitry, this is Sergey for repress. How do you read me? Loud and clear, help me. Loud and clear as well. And if I understand it correctly, you are ready to proceed. You have everything that you need. You have the electronic version of the uh, EVA 52 procedure in uh, PDF, and it is already open. Yes, that is correct. Copy. Uh, please confirm that all Peho hatches are now closed. Peho hatches are closed. Copy. And also I wanted to check if hacker cameras are off or uh, they're still running. They're off. They're already off. Okay, hacker cameras are off on SF. Copy. In that case, uh, let's start with uh, step 4. Uh, MRMT repress to 260 millimeters from PECHA-O. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we've now confirmed the hatch closure time that completes uh, today's spacewalk. Hatch closure confirmed by the Russian specialists at the Russian Control Center occurred at 4.37 p.m. Central Time, 5.37 p.m. Eastern Time to bring uh, this spacewalk to a close at six hours and 37 minutes, six hours, 37 minutes for today's spacewalk. We will uh, have complete stats for you in just a moment uh, as uh, Artemiev and Matveyev uh, begin the process of repressurizing the Poisk airlock uh, that will precede uh, them opening up the hatch back uh, to the International Space Station and uh, climbing out of their Orlan spacesuits. Okay, got that. Uh, still stand by. Press uh, on KVD PHO is still open. Okay, uh, it's in work. Uh, please note the time. LED is illuminated. And uh, uh, please report on uh, uh, MRM2 and uh, your seat pressure on the sky 15. And the uh, seat pressure is uh, uh, 0.34. Uh, please repress to 260 millimeters. 40 uh, is the current uh, pressure in the module and 0.3 in the suit. Copy. Uh, thank you. Module pressure is 80 uh, and the suit pressure is 0 0.26, 0 0.27 for EV2. Copy. The module pressure is 130, the suit pressure is 0.2, and 0.2 for EV2 as well. Copy, that's good. Is 0 0.16 for EV1, 0 0.16 for EV2. Copy. Uh, so, uh, what uh, pressure uh, should we reach? Okay, it's 216. Module pressure is 180, this pressure is uh, 0 0.13 for EV1, 0 0.14 for EV2. Copy. Uh, 
ипотеки 210. Можно pressure is 210, uh, pressure for EV1 is 0.1 and 0.1 for EV2. Copy. Module pressure is 230. This is Mission Control Houston uh, with Oleg Artemiev and uh, Denise Matveyev safely back inside the Poisk airlock. Here are uh, the statistics uh, associated with today's spacewalk. This was the 249th spacewalk in support of ISS assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. The fourth spacewalk out of the ISS this year and the first for Expedition 67. This was the fourth spacewalk of Oleg Artemiev's career. He now has accumulated 26 hours and 57 minutes of spacewalking time. And uh, of course, uh, Denise Matveyev, a first time flyer. This was the first spacewalk of his career, six hours and 37 minutes. The spacewalk, by the way, began at 10 a.m. Central Time and ended with hatch closure at 4.37 p.m. Central Time. Of the 249 spacewalks conducted in support of the space station, that has now accrued a total of 1,576 hours and two minutes, which is equivalent to 65 days, 15 hours, and two minutes of spacewalking time. This was the first of uh, what is expected to be uh, numerous spacewalks during Expedition 67. And again, the first uh, today conducted out of the Poisk airlock on the Russian segment of the station for six hours and 37 minutes. 260, and uh, um, now you guys need to wait for five minutes for the stabilization. And what was the um, um, the pressure, uh, Sergey? Let me check that. This is the whole pressure on and the pressure gauge you can copy. That's good, so five minutes for stabilization. And Oleg, uh, you will keep uh, using uh, QPARD 11. Thank you. 